And now it's time for the Really Big Question Show with your host, James Manley. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Really Big Question Show, the show with really big questions and really short ties. I'm your host, James Manley, and today we've got a question for you out of Egypt. Here it goes. What did Moses do once Israel crossed the Red Sea? All right, there you have it. We'll give you some hints along the way to help you answer today's really big question. And we'll see you at the end of the whole show for the end and answer to the really big question. We'll see you then. Bye. Hey, in a moment, we're going to read a story about Moses and the children of Israel crossing the Red Sea on dry ground. What a story. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. Oh, I may never fly o'er the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Oh, I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. Oh, I may never fly o'er the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never run from a dinosaur, sleep in a tiny tent, cook many marshmallows. Oh, I may never dig for hidden treasure, but I'm one of God's heroes. Amen. I'm one of God's heroes. Amen. I'm one of God's heroes. Amen. Oh, I may never run from a dinosaur, sleep in a tiny tent, cook many marshmallows. Oh, I may never dig for hidden treasure, but I'm one of God's heroes. Amen. What did Moses do once Israel crossed the Red Sea? Hey, I'd like to read this story to you about Moses. This is about when the children of Israel are escaping from Egypt. It's called the Red Sea Run. It's in the book of Exodus. Exodus sounds like exit, and that's exactly what it's about. Let's pretend that we're Moses and the Israelites, and we need to get out of Egypt, and we need to get out of Egypt fast. Here we go. We need a way to escape. Let's run. Let's pretend that we're running. <sighs> Turn and look behind us. <sighs> Are they coming? Oh no, here comes Pharaoh and his army. Run, run. Whew. Yikes. We're scared, but we keep running. Now we look ahead. Ah! Oh no. What is it? The Red Sea. One big sea of water nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and Pharaoh and his army coming up behind. Help us, God! Help us, God! What should we do? We're trapped. We can't swim. We can't fight an army. And we're scared. God, we need you. We stop. We look at Moses. He's lifting his staff. What a great big stick. Let's pretend to lift a heavy stick. Ah! Ah! Whoa! See what God is doing. What is happening? The water is just split in half like this. Swoosh! Whoosh! Now we've got a place to run. Come on! Let's go between the walls of water. Yay! We can run, we can run, we can get away. Whew! We made it across. The watery sea, high and dry as we can be, whoopee! And we did it on dry ground. God dried out the ground with that big east wind. Oh no! We look behind us. Oh no! Here they come. The soldiers in their chariots want to use the dry path too. Hear the sound of their horses in their chariots. But God won't let them catch us. No! They can't hurt us. Look, the water that was like this swoosh comes back together and covers up Pharaoh and his army. There's no dry path. It's a watery sea. Hooray! God saved us. Yay! 
God won't let the soldiers get us. We're safe. We don't have to worry because God will take care of us. Oh, thanks, God. You are great. You open the sea and let us go through. There's no one as great as God like you. What a wonderful God to protect the Israelites, and he'll protect us too. All right, let's see what we've got here. Uh, some weird cape-looking thing, a shield, uh, some nice clothing. Maybe I should maybe I should hold on to that. A little piece of armor. Is that? I think that was somebody's beard. Uh, a little tie, uh, hat. Let's see what. Ooh, an egg. Yeah. I, ooh, I probably shouldn't have thrown the egg. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This. This is what we're looking for right here. All right. Oh. We really got to talk about your manners. Uh, hi guys. It's uh, you know Harrison Jones, world famous explorer out here exploring for gold that I found and now have to find all over again in the in the sand. Uh, anyway, you know, I was out here looking in the sand, uh, exploring, trying to find what I could, found a lot of weird things and of course found gold. You know what this place reminds me of? This desert reminds me of a story I heard once about uh, this group of people called the Israelites, and they left a pretty sandy place too, uh, Egypt. Egypt is what it was called. Have you ever heard that story before? You have? Well, very good. Yeah, it's a, it's a great story. It's one that, it's one that I like to think about uh, every time I visit some desert place like I'm in today. You know, my favorite part about all of that is uh, they find themselves in an, an impossible situation, much like I do from time to time, you know, a place where I'm not sure how I'm going to get out. Uh, of course, you know, that never happens to me. Anyway, and God brought them through it. They, they walked across this, uh, this body of water on, on dry ground. It's incredible. And, and then God make sure that Pharaoh and his army can't get to him. It's just, it's just amazing. You know, we've got enemies today. Uh, and maybe it's an enemy you're not even aware of. Uh, but the devil's out there. And he, he follows you around. Uh, sometimes our, the devil is our enemy coming after us. Sometimes it's, uh, sometimes it's somebody who's not being very nice to us. Somebody, sometimes it's somebody who wants to hurt us. Sometimes it's maybe a dinosaur. But God's always there to deliver us. And every time I think about Israel leaving Egypt, I think about that time uh, that God took care of them and protected them and that he does the same for you and I today. Well, I've got to get back to exploring and finding all this gold that I spilled everywhere. Hey, if, if we ever meet up, I'll, I'll be sure to, to save some of this for you. Uh, one question real quick. Do you have any idea whose tie this is? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me when I'm good, when I do the things I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad, but it makes him very sad. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. What did Moses do once Israel crossed the Red Sea? Let's pray together. Fold your hands together, close your eyes, bow your head. 
Father, we thank you for the story of Moses and Israel crossing the Red Sea and for delivering them when they thought all hope was lost and that the enemy was going to get them. Father, we pray that you help us to remember that you will deliver us too, that the enemy comes after us, that Satan wants us uh, to do wrong and bad things, and that you can deliver us from him as well. God, we pray that we remember Israel in your care uh, and taking care of them. We pray that we're encouraged by those things. We thank you for today's lesson, to be able to look into the Bible, to read more about you and your incredible acts. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. And now it's time for the epic conclusion of the Really Big Question Show with your host, James Manley. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. And we have an answer for today's question. Are you ready for it? First, the question one more time. What did Moses do after Israel crossed the Red Sea? Are you ready for today's answer? Here it goes. Moses sang a song. That's right. After Israel crossed the Red Sea in Exodus 15, we have a song that Moses sang because he was so happy to have been delivered by the Lord. All right. There's the answer for today's really big question. Did you get it right? Well, hey, if you didn't, there's always tomorrow for one last show this week. If you did get it, congratulations, and we'll try to get you tomorrow with our next really big question. We'll see you then. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you being here and enjoying it in. Invite your friends. Share this with others so that they can see it as well. See you next time. Bye.